In this video, we're going to make a blog in Notion from scratch. So follow along tutorial, let's jump straight into it. First thing we're going to need is an actual system for writing the blog. Now, what we're going to do to make it easy is actually have one database that holds all of the blogs, and then we're going to separate that into categories, which can be found on separate pages. So we'll just press on new database. And now in here, we are going to change this to a gallery. So we're gonna click on these three dots. We're going to go to layout. And then we're going to go to gallery right here. Now, as you can see, these are all quite large. So we're just going to change it from medium to small. Now this is going to house all of our blogs. So let's just call this blogs. Now, one thing we wanna make sure is that the images that are loading here are coming from the cover and not from what's inside of the actual article. This will be really important. Otherwise, we can actually see the text that's written here. So I'll just do that. And as you can see, what's showing up is not the cover photo, it's showing the text. So if you want to see the text, then that's, you don't have to change anything. But if you want to see the cover, which is most likely, then I'll show you how to do that. We're going to go back to these three dots. We are going to click on layout. And then here where we have card preview, we're going to change it from page content, which was showing before, to page cover. Now, when we click on here and let's do add cover and let's change this article to be about space. Is space real? Question mark. This article here, as you can see, it's loading the image. Now, depending on your style, you might want to make this full screen. So you would go up to the three dots here, click on full width. Personally, for a blog, I actually prefer it not to be full width. I think it looks more like a blog. So I'll just create a bunch of fake ones real quick. Okay, we have some articles in the blog here. One thing I'm going to do is actually change the font. So to do that, I'm going to go up here, click on these three dots, and then I'm going to click on serif. You might want to do mono, which looks like this, but I think serif would look nice. Actually, the mono font looks quite good. Let's do that. Now for this to look like a real blog, we're going to need a few different features. And one of them is having a featured blog article. So maybe whatever's recent or whatever we like the most. So how are we going to do that? Well, we're going to click on here. And then when you create a database, automatically a tag property gets created. So you can see here tags already exists. Let's call this featured. So now what we're going to do is create some space at the top here. And we're going to want to show this same database, but up here. That way we don't have to create an article here and then add it to this database later on. So do forward slash database and do table view. Now we're going to want to select this blogs database. Now you can see here, it's my most recent one. So I'll click on that. And we want to copy the existing view because we've already designed it. So we'll click on that. Now all of these are showing up, which we don't want. First, we might want to hide the word blogs. So we'll click on the three dots. Then we'll click on layout. And then we will click on show database title and turn that off. Now all of these are showing up, but we only want the featured one is space real to show up. So we're going to do a filter. We're going to add an advanced filter. We're going to click on where tag contains featured. Now, as you can see, only this one is showing up. Now what we will do is click on the three dots and we might change this layout to not just be a small card size for this featured one, but let's make it large. Now, because this is most likely a personal blog or even if it's a business blog, whatever it is, you'll most likely want a little description about what this blog is about. What are you actually writing about? So in order to do that, we're going to want to have some text next to this. Now I'll show you the issue. If you write some text here and then try to drag it, as you can see, it doesn't let me put it next to it for some reason. It's kind of annoying, but I'll show you the workaround. What you wanna do, is do forward slash two, and then you're going to select two columns. Now you can drag this into that second column. And then as you can see, this database fits perfectly there. Now we're going to take this text and drag it here to the side. And as you'll see, it fits there. It's now showing up with this blue line. As you can see, the blue line doesn't show up on the entire line like this. That means it's getting its own line. But when it shows up like this, then it knows it's in the second column. So as we can see, we have a bit more space up here. So I'll just delete. And now they are lining up. So what is this blog? Maybe let's make this a header two. So we'll turn into header two. It's really good. And this blog is about space and such. So this is now starting to look a bit more like a blog. Now, one of the most important things for a blog is actually categories. So we have the featured category, but another thing we might want is categories 
with separate pages. Now remember, we don't wanna make it difficult for ourselves and make a bunch of different databases. We wanna use the same database. So how do we do that? Well, it's actually really easy, but we just wanna make sure of one thing. We just wanna make sure that this tag here is actually a multi-select and not a select. If this is a select, it won't work because then you can only have articles in one category when we want them to be able to be in multiple categories. So just make sure it's in multi-select. So I'll just call this one um, category A, go to this one, category B, and this one, category C. Cool, now we have three categories and all of these articles belong in a different category. So how are we going to make these show up on different pages? So we'll do forward slash page, We'll call this one category A and change this to the font that you want. And then we might want a cover banner here. Let's do space. That's a horrible photo. So now we're going to do forward slash database table view. And then again, we're going to select blogs. So the same database that we've already created, we don't want to create a new database. And now you want to copy the existing view gallery. And now what we're going to do is click on filter, add advanced filter and where tags contains and we just want category A. Now we're going to click on the three dots. We're going to click on layout and then show database title. Let's just turn that off. Cool. So here we have category A with its own page. So then here we might want to have some text that just explains what category A is about. Have you ever... So now we have a bit of text explaining what category A is all about. All right. So let's go back to the other page. Now here we can see category A. So let's maybe just give it an icon, space, there we go. So now we're going to be a bit lazy. Instead of doing this manually for each one, we're going to click and do duplicate and then do duplicate again. And now we're going to drag these six dots and place it here. So now you can see it is next to it and then do the same thing for here. And now we have three categories. So now I'm going to click on category A, change this to category B and then change this filter where the rule is from category A to category B. And do the same thing for this one. For category A, filter, change, category A to category C. And then, you know, we might wanna change this. We'll probably wanna change this cover. So let's change the cover. Probably wanna change the icon so we know it's a different page. There we go. Gonna change this icon here as well. Cool, so now we have category A, B, and C. Let's add a divider, so forward slash DIV and then underneath it, forward slash DIV. Now it looks a bit more like a menu up here. And now we're starting to look like a blog. Now at the top here, we'll probably wanna have a cover, change cover, and I would recommend uploading something with maybe a bit of branding. If you have Photoshop, you can use that. If not, Canva is great and it's free, which is awesome. But for the sake of making this easy, I'll just add this cover. So this is what our blog looks like. It looks really clean and minimal, but there is a fundamental issue. We don't have a template for the actual blogs. And because we're efficient people, we wanna make this as easy as possible for us. So how do we do that? We're going to click on this down arrow and we're going to click on new template. Now, most likely you'll kind of have a template for every article you write. So you might start with an intro, then you might have an image. So I'll just do this to make it easy. 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, call to action. Let's add an image here as well. Obviously you can delete these and do whatever you want. You can't just upload it when you're actually designing it. So we'll actually make this a bit easier. We'll delete the space in between here, highlight these, click on this, turn into, and we'll do header twos. So this will be our header one, and then we'll create some space in between them. So now we have all these talking points with the headers, and then maybe at the end, it might be good to have a link to the home page. So we'll do forward slash, link, link to page, and then we're going to search for the page. So for me, it's just called blog, and then here you can see the blog page, and I'll just do it like that. And then in the template, if you want similar articles to show up so they don't have to go back every single time, you can do forward slash database table view, like we've done before, select blogs, click on gallery, then click on these three dots. We're going to do layout. We're going to hide the database title. Let's rename gallery to articles, and then we will call this new article. So now we have a pretty good structure. So I'll click away. And now let's say we're writing a new article. I'll click on new, and then I will select the new article. So as you can see, it will load in for me. So now I can change this. Let's add an icon to the article. I'll just do this one again. Add a cover. Hello world. Man, space is crazy, right? Point one, space. 
Is it even real? And then here you can see we have the blog that takes us back to the homepage. So if you click on that, we go back here. So I'll just go back and open this article. And then down here, what we're going to want to do for each article that we'll write, we'll change the filter that we want to show up here. So let's say for this one, we want category A to show up. Then we'll make sure that this is in category A. So everything that's similar and belongs in category A will be showing up here. So this is just a really cool way to make sure people don't have to keep going back to the homepage if they're liking a specific category. Now, when it comes to writing the articles, is there a way we can speed this up? Yes, 100%. We can use the power of AI. So here we can use Notion AI and write an article. Write a 100 word introduction for an article discussing if space is even real and what actually is space. I'll click that button. And as you can see, it's writing here. Space, the vast expanse of the universe, has always fascinated humanity, but have you ever stopped to wonder if space is even real? Blah, blah, blah. So it's a really fantastic way to speed up your process. Link is in the description if you want to sign up to Notion AI or if you want to sign up to Notion Plus. Really recommend the Notion Plus as well, just because of the backup feature. That's my main reason for Notion Plus, to be honest. Highly recommend it. Link is in the description. This looks really clean. It works really well, and you can keep expanding on it. But now, how do we share this with the world? Well, you're going to go up here, click on the share, and then here, we're gonna to wanna to make sure that we click on publish. Now, you can see here it says publish to web. So we're not doing share, because then you're sharing with people individually. We're doing publish. That way it is, like it says, a static website of this page. So we're going to click on publish. And then here you can see this page is live on the web. Now we wanna make sure the link doesn't expire. We do not allow editing, otherwise people can change the text. We do not allow comments and you'll probably want to turn off allow duplicate as template. Otherwise people can literally copy and paste your blog and then search engine indexing. This is a plus feature. Again, really useful link is in the description. You can upgrade and have your page appear in search engine results. To be honest, I don't know how good the SEO is, but it's still a really cool feature. And then when you want to share this with the world, you're just going to click on this button here. And then let's just click here to view the site. Beautiful, so here we can see our blog. We've got category A, B, and C. If you click on a category, then we've got just those stuff. As you can see, it's really well designed. You've got the featured article here, which you can always change. And then we've got our blog. Now, one thing to point out, this is dynamic. So if you change something here, let's just change. So I've changed this to articles, change that to featured, and then let's just change the featured one. So I'll remove this from featured and let's just make this new article, the featured one like that. Now, as you can see, it changes here on my version. So now let's go back to the live version. Then you can see the new article is showing up here. It says articles and it says featured. If you found this useful, I recommend checking out my Notion headquarters template. It's a really cool template, which is basically your all-in-one system for tasks, notes, resources, and projects, and a bunch of more stuff. Click on this video here to check it out.